The welcoming prayer is a practice. It's a practice that is designed to be done in the moment, in the moment when things might be happening in your life. So we, I start always by getting up and moving a little bit, and in, in a moment I'm gonna share the prayer on the screen for you. But before we do that, I encourage you to just move a little bit. You've been centering all morning. It's been delightful. You've been here with the divine. But I, I don't know about you. I, I find I get a little frozen up. And so moving a little to start to feel and sink into the body. The first part of the welcoming prayer is to feel and sink into the body. And so for me, that requires a little bit of movement. I need to wiggle a little, maybe take a sip of water, but to feel and sink into my body, I need to let the body do what it does best, which for me is to move. And recognizing the breath as it's flowing throughout my body, all those places, and welcoming all that we feel. So welcoming that little bit of stiffness or that delicious looseness or the stretch that comes with getting up and recognizing this incredible, incredible gift we have of the body. We have been given this body, this to house our divine presence, or perhaps it is the divine presence. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not a mystic. I'm, I'm, I'm you. <laughs> and as we stretch and move and find our place, for me, recognizing my feet on the ground. So whether you're standing or sitting, feeling your feet on the ground, grounding yourself, that divine place that we've been given this gift, this we're allowed to live in now. So the first step of the welcoming prayer, there's three phases to the welcoming prayer, to feel and sink in, to welcome and to let go. And the feeling and sinking in, to feel and sink into the body, you can actually touch yourself tactily, connecting to all those proprio receptors, which are those delightful things we're given in our body to help us find ourselves in space and time. <sighs> And as you feel in sync into your body, perhaps there's a place in your body where your attention goes. There's a place, perhaps, where the attention goes right now in this time. And wherever that place may be, you may want to bring attention to it by moving it a little or placing your hands on it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome all that you're feeling welcoming the divine presence, welcoming all that is in this moment. As you feel and sink in and welcoming all that you feel, welcome the divine presence, the divine indwelling, the indwelling spirit. And for me, repeating the word welcome, welcome, welcome is helpful. And so you might want to repeat that out loud or on your breath or read it on the screen. However it is, it helps embody it for you because the welcoming prayer practice is an embodied practice. It's helping us to be in the world in a place that connects us to the divine at the same time and to let go of all these things we may have brought in that we might not want to have with us in this moment. We may want to turn them over to the divine presence, consenting to God's presence and action in our lives and letting go. I let go of the desire for security, affection, control, and embrace this moment as it is. Wherever you are, whenever you are, this moment as it is. Welcome, welcome, welcome. As you feel and sink into your body, for me, 
this has been a time these last this last week or so and into next week I have a little bit of anxiety going on in my body. I can feel it in my heart, in my chest, in the na'au, which is the Hawaiian word for that place above your navel and you, you, below your rib cage, the place where thoughts and emotions are often felt. That na'au, I feel it there. I feel this anxiety, this time of stress. I, I see it in my dreams. I dream of all kinds of interesting, strange things these days. People refusing to wear masks, people only wearing masks, never taking them off, uh, and all kinds of other f weird things. People attacking, people being attacked. I, I have strange dreams now from this anxiety, I think, that I feel in my body and perhaps in the world around me is where it's coming from. I, I'm not sure, but I find that moving with it helps and this practice, this welcoming prayer practice, so to feel and sink into the moment. So when I wake up, startled perhaps, I, I actually will bring myself up out of my sleep to embody it so that it doesn't stay there in a, in a negative way. So embodying it by welcome, welcome, welcome what I'm feeling even when I really don't want to feel it, maybe especially when I don't want to feel this. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome. Feel and sink in. Welcome all your feeling and welcome the divine presence, consenting to God's presence and action in your life, in this moment, in this time, embracing this moment, I let go of my desire. I let go of my desire for security, affection, control, and embrace this moment as it is. And I actually physically embrace myself to help myself with that feeling. I take my arm and I wrap it around myself with a giant hug, embracing this moment as it is. I'm in a place and time in my life where I am not being embraced by others. And so being embraced by the divine presence, which I mimic by embracing myself physically, is helpful to be in this moment, to feel this moment as it is. Now I know I need security and affection and control. I need these things. This practice of letting go of my desire for security, affection and control and embracing the moment as it is, is about consenting to God's presence and action in my life. God's presence and action in my life, in this moment, where we are now. So taking some time for yourself, closing your eyes perhaps, or in one way that you can, the best way for you to feel and sink into your body, whatever that might be, whether it's on the breath or wiggling or just perhaps touching yourself lightly, hugging yourself, whatever it might be, feel and sink into your body. Really feel and sink in. And notice, where does your attention go? When your attention is taken there, welcome, welcome, welcome. And perhaps there's a memory attached or a sensation, an energy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome the divine presence, the divine indwelling. Welcome, welcome, welcome divine indwelling. How lucky are we 
The divine indwelling is within us. The divine indwelling is in you, is in me. The divine indwelling, this gift we are given by God to be with us in the moments where perhaps we are really uncomfortable and perhaps we're overly excited and comfortable and in a place where we become unseated because we're so excited and so wrapped up that again the divine presence slips out of our our daily consciousness this is a practice that welcomes us to come back into this vessel feeling and sinking in welcome welcome Welcome, welcome the divine indwelling. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome all that you're feeling. I, I love the welcoming prayer practice because there is no preconceived idea that I might be still in it. I can do this while wiggling and moving or I can be still. There's no preconceived way of doing this. It's the way that works the best for you in the moment. So it might be completely different today, even later today. When you welcome, welcome, welcome the divine indwelling. Feel and sink in. It's a practice that can be done on the breath in just a moment. We're taking this time to practice. The practice is to help us so that we know it in our body, so we know it in our beings. But it can be done on the breath in a single moment and it's designed to be done just like that when we need it the most. And on the inhale, we feel and we sink in and we welcome. As we welcome the divine in in dwelling on the exhale, we let go. For me, a simpler version is inhaling acceptance and exhaling surrender. Inhaling in the moment, this moment as it is, and exhaling into this moment as it is, embodied, embodied. There are many sacred writings that talk about the divine presence as being the breath, the spirit, that light, and we have that breath with us, spinning ourselves, embodying us, being all that we need to be. We breathe without even thinking. And when we take our attention to the breath, for me, that is a time where I take my attention to to the divine, the, the, the divine indwelling. Our body has synovial fluids, which are the fluids that flow up and down our spinal column. And they nurture all of our nerve endings that are throughout our body. And we don't need to think about them. But again, for me, that is the grace and love of the divine that's flowing through me all the time. And when I do wiggle a little or move, I encourage that fluid, that grace of God to move even more to move even more throughout my body. I'm encouraging the grace and the love and the blessing of the divine to sink into every part of my body. And again, as you take your attention and go into the body, see where your attention goes. Maybe it goes to your feet or the ankles or the knees or the hips, the lower back the mid back, your upper back, your lungs, your heart, your chest, the na'ao, 
your shoulders, your arms, elbows, wrists, hands, fingers, the throat, all those things said and unsaid, the neck supporting your cranium, your head, your ears, your lips and mouth, your nose and eyes, where does your attention go? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome the divine indwelling. Welcome the indwelling presence. Welcome all that you are. I let go of my desire for security, affection, control, and embrace this moment as it is. And perhaps saying those words on your breath or in your heart or out loud will help you embody this. So feel and sink in. Welcome and let go. I let go of my desire for security, affection, control, and embrace this moment as it is. I let go of my desire for security, affection, control, and embrace this moment as it is. Embrace this moment, this time, wherever you are, this moment. In this upcoming week, there may be many, many delightful opportunities for this prayer in your life. I know for me, I can feel the, the energy of the world around me and it feels a bit anxious a bit where I want to be in the future, worrying about it. I have this desire as if I could make it better or control it or change it. As if, as if, as if. <laughs> what, what am I thinking? <laughs> and every time I am, my, my desire for each time I do that is to come back to this prayer. And even thinking I can do that is a miracle, but perhaps the welcoming prayer to feel and sink in. To welcome. As we are welcomed in this group, in this community, we are welcoming all that we're feeling in our body. We know that we take this community with us. Whether we're here in our windows together or whether we're carrying you in our hearts, we take this community to support us and love us throughout. So again, for me, as I welcome, I have to admit, it's hard for me to embrace this moment as it is, but it's a little easier when I remember I'm in community with all of you, that all of us are taking it, and it's God's time. God's time is all time. And so as we feel and sink in, Welcome and let go and embrace this moment as it is. I remember that. I let go of my desire for security, affection, control, and embrace this moment as it is.